Hello, welcome back. And we're talking about what? Manifestation, masturbation. What? What is it? Is it real? Does it work? How do you do it? Um, <laughs> I've been wanting to do this one for a while because if anyone's into like law of attraction and all those types of things, then maybe you've come across this concept. If not, here's a quick like recap of what it's supposed to be for. So with law of attraction, you talk about, you speak into existence what you want, uh, what you desire to bring it closer to you. But you have to already believe that you already have it and be walking through your life as if you already have it. So then when it comes to you, it's like, oh, I'm home, <laughs> right? Instead of like something that is outside of you and you can never have, it's like almost like you're coming home because you've made yourself that home uh, for that thing to rest or come back to. So the idea of law of attraction is, you know, just attracting things to you uh, that you believe. And so with changing your beliefs, your belief systems, it has a lot to do with your unconscious body because our conscious mind, our ego is going to say this, 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 and the other, but we don't really move that much from our ego we move more from your, our unconscious body which is our normal routines and habits and things of that nature so with manifestation and masturbation what you do is you're saying hey i'm going to manifest this thing by masturbating which if you was thinking on a, a non-spiritual tip then you would think of it more as your in psychology we would call it association you're associating this good, positive, pleasurable experience with the things you want in life. Once you associate having that that dream career, that dream uh, relationship, um, uh, a home that you want, a uh, feeling, or even spirit, you can use it for spiritual things like I want to be more spiritually open, right? Like, or be able to get messages or blah, blah, blah. You can do all types of things, right? So you use this concept to, again, bring it towards you and to basically tell your unconscious body because your body is what you're using to associate it with that thing. That is why I think it works in that sense. Um, like on just like a basic ass level. Now, if you want to get into the spiritual woo woo of it, <laughs> then you can think of it um, then it is more into that idea of, so I be on my manifestation game normally through affirmations, journaling, scripting, um, things of that nature, but I'm going to be using just this different tool. It's a form of sex magic. So you can do manifestation through sex with others, but a lot of times other people's emotions and um, beliefs would come into it. So if you're trying to do sex magic with another person, one, you should tell them that you're gonna do it because then it will be stronger because they're also thinking the same things and whatnot. If, these, if this person is another spiritual person or spiritually inclined or at least on some level believes in the similar things you do, then again, your beliefs line up and it's more likely to occur. And again, your own personal belief behind something. So this is why either way that the solo sex, right? The masturbation is really helpful when you want to get the things that you want. So don't try to manifest for someone else that you know or something like that um, because it won't be as strong. Not saying it won't help, but it's not as strong because it's that person and their life and their path versus your life and your path and what your soul wants. Even though that might be what their soul wants, which what could help them, it still isn't necessarily, again, gonna completely and utterly like change their sitch situation. Okay, I'm trying to work on so much, uh, what do you call it, slang, yeah. <laughs> So with this, you would get in the mood if you're a person who like has certain incense or 
uh, candles, uh, things that help you get into the mood of doing your spiritual practice. If you meditate beforehand or you do something like Qigong or uh, Tai Chi yoga, um, you know, those types of things, that would be the thing you want to do beforehand. Also, the um, setting of your intentions. So another way of that is you can write it on a piece of paper, you can say it out loud beforehand, but visualization techniques are great. And the great thing about visualization is, I know some people have an issue with it because like trying to picture something in your mind sometimes is difficult. So that's why writing it down or even finding creative ways like art. Um, I've even like played The Sims and like created the life I wanted and then just played myself for a little bit as an idea to visually help me see it. <laughs> so if you have any life simulation games, I might be down to do this, you know? What I mean? <laughs> like, so that's another thing. Um, and after you do that, then you go ahead, get yourself comfortable. If you want some good music uh, or lighting or how, you know, whatever extra stuff you want to do to get you in the mood, get you comfortable uh, and in that mode and only focusing on that because your attention is, you know, I had a friend of mine who is a spiritual person who also is into, you know, the science is like, like, you know physics and things of that nature and talking about how they intersect which is so cool um like sometimes it makes me want to be like can i become a billionaire just so i can like go to school to get degrees like that or like because i'm bored and i just want to know <laughs> um <laughs> like so you don't say is that what happens um in theoretical physics anyways but um that way I wouldn't have to take 12 credits because when you have financial aid, you know, you got to take as many credits as financial aid tells you. And it's like, um, for my personality, I need to take one glass at a time for that kind of shit. It's a lot of information. Uh, or two classes versus like the four that you would need to take. So that's what I mean by like if I was a billionaire. Because I could have, I could be like, it's going to take me eight degrees. I mean, eight degrees. Wow. Eight years to get you know this one degree or two degrees but it's or something or you wouldn't have to necessarily do it to get a degree you could just take the classes that you want all right like you know anyways aside that so that's such a side note but um going back to the point is, is that getting yourself in the mood getting yourself ready for what you want to do boom then you go ahead start masturbating don't watch porn don't do anything like that just go ahead, get comfortable, start doing what you do, however you get there. And during that time, think about your intentions. You can even say them out loud if you want to. And then at the point of orgasm, you go ahead and you make sure you're really picturing the end result. Like, so say your manifestation was you want to buy a house in a certain city. Then you would, during the time, of masturbating you would think about like my dream home da -da -da -da, all the things that makes it your dream home so when a, when someone reminded me about that is in your petition or uh because that's how you do that spell work beforehand put all the like tiny little details in there like no no um you know little don't use contradictions. So instead of saying no, no noisy neighbors, you would say a peaceful environment with happy, harmonious neighbors, All right? What's up? So say everything in the affirmative because spirit doesn't hear no. My mom used to always tell me that. Spirit don't hear a list of shit you don't want. You hear a list of shit you do want. So don't say, I don't want chicken. You don't put that on a grocery list, friend. You put, I want some fish. I want some lettuce. I want to, you know what you say? You don't put what you don't want. You only put what you do want. So in all manifestation, remember that. Spirit don't hear no. Or the in apostrophe T, you know, I don't do that. What, what you don't do? Hmm? So <laughs> remember that. So when you're writing down again, so if this home, say you don't know the city you want to live in. You're like, oh, I want to move to a 
beautiful sunny uh place where there are lots of beautiful souls the bubble but you know what i mean it's like uh, i want the house to uh be newer than 1950 uh what else with some cool things you know i want hardwood floors throughout right because the reason why i say that is because say you find a house and it's carpeted but then you find out that there is perfect pristine hardwood floors under it you just gotta pull that carpet up and then you're like oh thank you for putting the carpet because you protected my floors you didn't spill shit on my floors because this carpet was protecting it so your manifestation came true you just don't know that until you get there and you see the carpet and you pull that bitch up and there it is <laughs> you know what I mean? right like or mm, you know you get the place but then you mysteriously have extra money aside so you can put in hardwood floors Okay, y'all can tell I watch way too much HGTV. <laughs> House hunters, I'll be like, if I hear one more bitch say they can't stand popcorn ceiling, I am going to come through this screen and get them. But anyways, <laughs> like scrape it off or pay someone to do it. Calm down and actually put it in the contract that you don't want that shit. Why are you complaining? Look at the bones of the house, you know. Is this square footage what you want? Is this room shape what you want? Is that a load bearing wall? Because then I won't be able to knock it down. That's the questions you're supposed to ask. Don't be worrying about this paint color. You can paint. That's easy to change. What's not easy to change is having to get an engineer to change and to put a beam in a room so you can knock down a wall because it's a load bearing wall. <laughs> so again, also when you want to manifest, research beforehand those little details right so then you can make your petition as you know specific as you want that way when you get your manifestation you're happy with it because that is a thing that can happen you can manifest some shit you did not want because you didn't know it's like you told someone to go to the store and get butter and salt and sunflower seeds and then you got butter salt sunflower seeds and licorice and uh, a, a Kit Kat bar but you like Snickers and you like what the fuck this Kit Kat bar in here well you never said you didn't want a Kit Kat bar well I'm not supposed to say what I don't want yeah but when it came to the candy section you didn't say what kind of candy you wanted damn you got me like oh bitch you right though I didn't say what kind of candy I wanted so <laughs> so when manifesting be pacific as hell okay um and and the reason why i'm telling you this because i've done it i'll be like oh i got it but not exactly how i wanted it so damn but you need to still be grateful for it when you get it because universe will not give you more shit if you're not happy with the shit it gave you it's gonna be mad so that's another thing with manifesting don't be saying oh i want a new house because the house i got is ugly and tore down and ain't shit because you should be like uh spirit i'm grateful to have shelter it's not the shelter that i necessarily want anymore but i'm grateful for having it and i would like to upgrade because i am ready for that growth right okay not uh this shit's ugly blah 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 pessimism pessimism spirit like to hear optimism and optimism doesn't mean everything is perfect it means this what you know this is this this is the reality of the situation and this is what i want my new reality to be right but it doesn't negate the actual reality that you have which is why manifestation is so hard because when you manifest like i want ten thousand dollars but you don't even have a thousand dollars in your bank account like you want ten thousand in your bank account and your savings or something and you only have a thousand it's kind of hard because you never had 10,000 then yeah that that's real hard for your body and your mind to actually think that's going to be true and it's going to be something you can manifest so that's why it's usually a little more difficult to do that's why a lot of times they say manifest smaller things and then get to the bigger thing because then you'll your belief systems will change every time so it's the idea of like if you have a large goal and you use a lot of small goals to get there so manifestation is the same way you can actually manifest smaller things to get you to that bigger thing 
so that way you actually believe in it because for me i remember like um back when i first started this i i used to smoke those uh, jewel pods and i manifested like a jewel pod and i was just like what like the actual little thing because i think the one i had like you know stop working um so not the little pot you put in but the actual like smoking device and so then one day i had did something and then like two or three just mysteriously showed up and i was just like what the f and i realized it was because i didn't super care about the jewels so again you can't put too much um importance on it either so i didn't think they was important like i was like i have other stuff I don't have to smoke or I have other smoking implements so this particular one isn't that freaking important um, Abraham Hicks has a, a, a story about a red button right and the guy saw it a month later and it was really weird because it was so specific like a red button like I just want to manifest a red button like literally for your shirt and then he did so um but it's because he really it's like he kind of believed it but he also and did the power of, you know, thinking about it, but he didn't think it was that important. So when it happened, it's like, oh, it's almost like you're proving to yourself that you can manifest. So manifesting smaller things is much more helpful. So that's why if you think, oh, manifestation don't work because I try to manifest this huge thing. Well, actually, maybe it didn't work immediately. Spirit gives you things when you're ready for it. So you put it out there and you might get it, but you might get it in five years so but you'll notice that you're doing things in your life that are going to be putting you on that path so what you don't understand is yes you've manifested it because spirit is now guiding you to all the small goals and small steps that you need to do to get to that larger goal what okay okay now again if you weren't so super spiritual you could think of it as just like you're reprogramming your mind to see opportunities to be able to go for those opportunities instead of hold back to put you but i really do think it's spiritual because sometimes you are in the right place at the right time and you meet this person that you ain't never met in your life and they tell you something and then you go to this other thing and then you're like how the hell did this happen i'm getting things right so that's why i'd be like no we be talking through the ether friend because t -t technically <laughs> that was too serendipitous too coincidental for it not to be and it's happened too many times for it not to be that is not a goddamn coincidence so whatever but you know not everybody's on our level if you're here so that's why they might not think that but you know if you want to let them that's the level of belief system they can have right at this moment don't come for them one day they might be on it and realize oh my gosh maybe they were talking some truth you know <laughs> So, yeah, so that is a thing. So going back to the specific of the manifestation masturbation. So go ahead, make sure that you think about all the stuff, right? You have that petition, you have, you're have you saying it while you're, or you're thinking about it, or you're visualizing it in your mind while you're masturbating. And then towards the end, again, see that end result. So, you're th so going back to the house example, you're thinking about you know having the, your great neighbors and your great house with your hardwood floors you know what i mean <laughs> in that great location and then um when it when you orgasm about a couple seconds or like right before like you know when you're like i'm gonna come like that moment and the actual act of orgasm that is when you're imagining yourself in the house so you see yourself walking through the house you see yourself seeing the beauty of the house and waving at your neighbors and <laughs> your low ass electricity bill you got the bill and so wow that bill is low <laughs> you're living that life so <laughs> that is how you would go ahead and make it um so that's the difference between having it i mean the the build up towards right like this is what i desire this is what i um, and then also, ooh, 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 phrasing. This is a good one. So the phrasing of, um, you know, I will something into existence. So, uh, manifestation phrases is like, I have, I will, um, 
I like things that are in the present tense basically um, I am those are the type of manifestation words you use to do things so uh, I desire would be the things you're thinking about during it so I desire a beautiful home da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. then when you're when you orgasm you say I have it I'm living it I am basking in this lifestyle like you know that kind of thing yes 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 so i think that's really helpful so boom cool we're 20 minutes in so my last thing about that is i thought about when people have brought up this concept they don't actually talk about like masturbation in general like they're like yeah yeah, yeah you know how to do that right and i'm gonna tell y'all something i used to work at a um sex store or a dope toy store however y'all want to come with that so i know that there are a lot of people who don't know how to do it and it also was sad to me when i found out there were people who have lived on this earth for 30 or 40 years and have never uh reached an orgasm uh or in that sometimes people have medical conditions for why they can't reach orgasm so again if that is your situation uh, there are other ways of manifesting that and you don't have to necessarily do that um, sex magic isn't for everybody all right but um so yeah so if you're a person that again it's difficult for you to masturbate or it is um, yeah or you just haven't been able to get there so to speak then I would practice that shit beforehand <laughs> without trying to manifest anything. Just learning your body, learning what you like. Uh, YouTube is a beautiful place. There is a lot of sex experts out here who can tell you some things. Um, ooh, if I remember to link some, I will. But if I don't, I'm sorry in advance. And uh, well, I can't do is just give you a tip or two. So, um, okay. So if you are a person with a vagina, there are, of course, the rubbing techniques, but then there's also things like, you know, shoot, I've been masturbating since I was like eight or nine. Oh, I fell on this pillow. You start humping it. Oh, the stuffed animal feel good. Like. <laughs> You know, just like, just humped it. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, that's how I figured it out. Um, but, you know, it wasn't until I was like 16 did I actually like be able to use my hand. I was like, because my, my wrist would get tired. I was like, oh, I don't know how bitches do this. How do they rub one out? How do you rub one out? <laughs> like, what is, I was like, no. Um, and I had started having sex I think around like like 15 so that's why I was like I had already started having sex where I could rub one out I was still humping shit all up to that point I was like, mm. so but that's not the only way oh another one rubbing your thighs together there are certain thighs sensations that helps rub against the clit so that's really nice so uh, that's another good one um in the shower, if you have a removable shower head, a lot of people talk about that. Oh, and if you're in the bathtub, you gotta kinda get crazy with it and get the leg up there, but that faucet, oh, what, what, nice. <laughs> and then I never thought about this, but even though it, would it still be like sex magic if someone else rubs it for you? Mm, real questions. Also using a toy, so, um, my best friend, those little bullets, you can just get the little vibrating bullets just lay it on the clip, man. Just want to lay it on there. Most people with vaginas ha uh, come from clitoral stimulation. So, like, I know I don't like stuff going in there. I'm like, why are you putting stuff inside me? I don't like it. Like, I'll be like, keep it on the outside. What in Margaret Cho? She had like a, a comedy s sketch one time, and it was such a good example. I was like, but she was basically like, if my vagina was a house, I want you to stay on the front porch. I don't need you to go in the house. <laughs> I was like, 
anyways you know with the toys right like now if you're a person with a penis bring your ass in there you know if we're dating and i like you and i've consented to that um and i was not uh intoxicated on drugs there we go okay or alcohol but um yeah in the house with the penis the the vibrators you know keep that elsewhere so um, there are some that are nice i mean i will give you that now i have learned to grow like on that but still in at the end of the day just lay something on on the clip right just lay, lay it on there okay uh for people with penises there are also many different techniques now i know people joke a lot of times about young boys in socks <laughs> um and everything but like lotion or lube lube is really your friend actually i should have said this for the other group too but there are all kinds of different fun lubes there are lubes that warm up or are cooling and i know that um, a lot of times the warming up sensation loops are really helpful because it makes you feel like you're really in something, you know, and, um, and then also technique. And also I've gotten this technique from watching people. Cause like sometimes if I wanted to give like a good hand job, then you just add, I would just ask the person with the penis to masturbate in front of me so then I could see their technique that they use on themselves right because different people like different things some people want their balls touched some don't like that so you can see their technique are they like the thumb and the two fingers are they like full full palm in it what kind what kind are you what you doing <laughs> um, or do you really want like something to put it in there you go so there's just fun things. <laughs> so make sure you know what your masturbation technique is and that you know how to do that well before you do this. Okay, because that's gonna be really helpful <laughs> for it to work. <laughs> so uh, that's all the components that I can think of for now. But also just, again, your belief system whatever you're trying to manifest knowing the mechanics of the masturbation and then understanding um being patient and not wanting it don't be so attached like i have to have it or i will die tomorrow like because then you're putting too much importance and then um it being so important makes you like want it so bad that you almost push it away right like like if you ever like when you know how someone like really really likes someone like over the top and they're just like ah, and the person is like get away from me you're just that's too much the the manifestation will do that to you like calm down breathe versus if you're just like you know if I you know I, I'm I'm cool with it like I I want you oh I definitely oh oh no. I definitely want you but um you know it's not it's not mandatory right like if i don't get it i'll be fine I'm, i'll be okay like, i'm cool with that thing. right it's just so cool it's so wow you know be cool and suave to your math to your manifestation you know right don't be clingy to your manifestation <laughs> that's how you <laughs> be unattached <laughs> right <laughs> um yeah okay so that feels good um if you have any questions or want to ask me more or want me to extrapolate more i feel like i said a lot though so um but yeah let me know anyways i love you i love me i love us i love we i'll see you soon